Good day, everybody. Jeff of Cutter Masters. So we're going to talk about, in this next series of movies, how to put ends on end mills. Two, four, and five flute tools. Four and five flute being variable pitch. What you want to understand is that you don't need to create the same geometry they did at the factory. When you got that tool, it probably came off a $500,000 Walter. You might not be able to match that exact grind by hand because it's done on a numerically controlled machine. But you can do a perfectly suitable grind, which is your mission. You want to be able to do an end quickly that gives you the finish you want. Experiment with a little bit. Just have to observe the basics. The primary and secondary angles should be close to factory. You want to have a very good finish because carbide is, becomes fragile when the finish is not good. You want to make sure the corners are perfect and that the, all the flute lengths are the same. In this case, this is a variable pitch tool. What we've done is we've set up the tool rest here. Like before, we flip this bar has a flat on it. We flip the bar around so that we could get some angularity to the setup. We've aligned everything so that we can approach it with this wheel. Um, what you want to do is you want to set your height so that the you're coming in below center coming across the tool without destroying that that tooth which is the next tooth up vertically because it's not at 90 degrees so you got to be able to get past center this is accomplished by setting the wheel below center and having it tilted at your in this case about five degrees so um and then when you you just come across it's pretty quick you just load the next flute uh, we're using the indexing collar on the back of the spindle as a length stop and the tooth rest as the rest. Uh, when it comes to how to set up this, the, the height doesn't matter. The approach is what matters. So you can have this at any height. These two lines here represent when this wheel is on center. So as you can see, we're below center. We're using the long end of the machine on on the Cutter Master Professional, usually one end of this is a little bit longer. When it comes to orientation, you want to have this, this orientation like so. You want to make it so the wheel's a little bit proud. So we're just coming just past zero there. So you're now cutting with the very corner of the wheel. Because the corner of the wheel does deteriorate as you're grinding on a resin bond wheel. Next, we'll do some grinds.